Previously on Minecraft Story Mode. There is a key difference between a good friend and a bad one. Good friends do what you ask. They enjoy what you make for them. They never betray you. Jesse is a perfect example of what we call a bad friend. Other bad friends include, in no particular order, Fred and Zara. Ultimately, all losers who refuse to appreciate the gifts they've been given. Now me, I won't stand for ingratitude. So I took my gifts away. Oh, but then, then, just when I thought I'd found a promising new friend, such a disappointment. That is when I had a brilliant idea. The perfect way to weed out the bad friends from the good. To be appreciated. I became Jesse. I was right, of course. The plan worked immediately. Jesse's good friends flocked to me. A the better Jesse. And now poor Jesse is dead, having never learned his lesson. The saddest part of all, really, is that Jesse will never get to see how much better I've made Beacon Town. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> didn't think to fortify these tunnels into town. <coughs> Speaking of fighting admins, I can't help but wish we still had Zara around. I know she was... well, she was a little much. But having an ex-admin on our side seems like it could have come in handy. Oof. I guess. I, for one, am glad to have her behind Well, I'm sure there are people out there who would say the same thing about us, but yeah, sure. Uh, maybe Zara's lucky being where she is right now. She's not currently marching towards a fight with the Admin. Maybe it's for the best that Binta and the Fred Towners didn't make it out of the underneath. It would really stick to get above the bedrock just to have the Admin, uh, you know. Yeah. Jesse, when Romeo finds out what we're trying to do, we've seen what he does. I don't want to end up like Fred. I don't want Beacon Town to be like Zara's town. We've seen so many terrible things that Romeo's done. I just can't even handle thinking about that happening to the others. To our home. Hey, no one is going to end up like Fred. How do you know that? Fred didn't know just how bad Romeo was, so he underestimated him. We can learn from the people who came before us. I know it seems hopeless, but we can't give up now. There are people up there counting on us, and we are not going to let them down. Hear me? Yeah, I hear you. Let's do it. Yeah. Yeah! Let's do the thing! <laughs> Here we go.
What do you guys want to bet that's where the primary terminal is? The giant floating tower with no clear entrance? Yeah, probably. We've got to find a way up there. Might be a good idea to hit the map shop. Regroup, get some supplies. Yeah, yeah, that sounds good. with Axel and Olivia. We gotta hide. Oh, typical. Heading exactly where we wanted to go. Then I guess we just can't get caught. Why exactly are we having a whole festival devoted solely to you? Do we really have to go up on stage with you in front of everyone? Enough! You two are gonna need to do a lot less talking and a lot more agreeing if you want to be a part of Beacon Town. Not so sure I do, actually. In fact, we were just about to head home. I'd be very careful if I were you guys, or there might not be a home to go back to. At all. It's just so easy for something bad to happen to a town. Like Champion City, for example. And... redeeming Romeo. No, I'm not so sure. Champion City. He blew it up. Yeah, he's a monster through and through. And he needs to be put down. Yeah, I... I guess you're right. Now, how about you run along and get that fireworks show ready for the big keynote, eh? Yes, admin. Uh, Jesse. I think the admin's distracted. Yeah, we should grab Axel and Olivia while we have the chance. What? You were always so worried about Champion City, and now, one less thing to worry about. Psst, Olivia, Axel. Oh my gosh, I knew it. I just knew it. <gasps> Whoa, am I seeing double? Shh. Jesse, I, what is? Come on, I'll explain everything, but we have to get off the streets. To the map shop, quick. I don't know what to say. Admins? A world beneath the bedrock? Yeah. I still think you made that part up. I mean, I'm relieved that the Jesse out there isn't the real you, but... But nobody else knows that. What if everyone in Beacon Town turns on you? I mean, with what just happened outside, Axel and I almost did. Look, the admin is good, but he's not good enough to have everyone fooled, right? It's a pretty good Jesse impression. I mean, a totally evil version, but... Yeah. But you said there's a way to stop this guy, right? Petra! Horrible Estella may be working for the admin and all. Nobody deserves that. Her whole city, gone. 
in an instant. Add it to the list of horrible things the admin's gonna pay for. So glad you guys are okay. <laughs> Did Jesse tell you about the potato yet? The what? In the underneath, we got our hands on something called a word of passage. Hashtag potato451. I know it sounds weird, but it's supposed to take away the admin's powers for good. Oh, I can't wait to see his face when that happens. Look at the state of my poor shop. I'm almost glad Nermi doesn't have to see the old girl looking like this. Is it even safe to hide out in here? <laughs> yeah, it used to be the safest place around. It's been ransacked once. Whoever did that might come back again. <laughs> Comforting. Getting into that tower won't be easy. Hopefully, there's still something useful in here. Everyone, take a look around. Shout if you find anything. While you guys do that, I'm gonna keep watch. Almost forgotten about that stash. Are these elytra wings? Those are super rare. Yeah, got them one time when I made a trip to the end. Nothing better for gliding. What was that? Out of my sight again, Nerm. Never again. <laughs> but how did you get out of that prison? Because I broke them out. Ah! Ah! Ivor, what on earth were you just doing, hanging out up there? Jesse, I'm a ninja. Where else would I be? That is a nice outfit, Ivor. I know. Thank you. Oh, oh my! Oh my gosh! Do you know who that is? That is Ivor founding freaking member of the Order of the Freaking Stone. That is a legend, standing in front of us, Nurm, within arm's reach. Hey, you're pretty legendary yourself, Jack. Just play it cool around him. Right, right, cool. Cool. I, I, I can do cool. Ivor, right? Sup? Yes, I am Ivor. And you are? They call me... This... <laughs> the Stab Walker. Yeah, that's a nickname. Yes! Hi! Hello, strange stab person. Anyway, I am happy to report that your plan for the admin worked perfectly. He fell for my deception hook, line, and sinker. My story about you dying in your escape attempt? Admin loved it. And after the admin's appetite for Jesse's destruction was satisfied, I returned to the prison by cover of night to free your friend from that cursed place. Between both of our enormous intellects, we figured out a simple way to disarm maximum security and escape without being blown to smithereens. It was incredibly difficult and took many, many days of intense mental activity. I can't believe that you risked your life for us. You could have died. What if Ivor hadn't gone back? <laughs> <laughs> Nerm, you are a treasure. Now that the team is back together, Ivor, we need to stop the admin. We're supposed to use our word of passage at the primary terminal. Jesse thinks it's up in the tower. Yes, I believe that's exactly where it is. I've heard him reference such a thing several times. No one thinks to check for eavesdropping ninjas. I have learned a lot of information that way. Let me guess. There's guards, right? Yes, yes. Though I requested a post there, the admin appointed special golems to patrol the place. Just, uh... You sure we can't, like, reason with this admin guy? 
You know, I'm talking out. You? Wanting to talk it out? Well, that's not... You can't reason with this guy, Axel. Trust me. It's true. He's crazy. As soon as this guy sees us, he'll just blink us out of existence. I'm formulating a plan. We just need a distraction. Maybe a distraction like Jesse's big speech at the start of JesseCon? That sounds great, but elytra wings don't exactly go up. <laughs> they do with fireworks. Nerm, think you could get me a map of Beacon Town? Hmm. Here's the plan. Like Jack said, we need fireworks. Which the admin has stockpiled backstage at the event! Wait, isn't Stella in charge of fireworks for this thing? Perfect. We'll never get backstage without fireworks skilled uniforms. So we find Stella, and she shows us where they are. I'll grab them. We suit up, and boom! Backstage passes. Once we're there, we swipe some fireworks. Wait! Don't I go backstage with you guys? You're gonna be getting me a bucket of water. We'll get to that. While we're getting the fireworks, Axel and Olivia will distract the admin. Are you sure I can't just blow up the stage? Uh, that would be distracting. Axel? Then we wait until the big fireworks finale. The what? It's Romeo. I promise you, there will be a huge fireworks finale. Petra and Jack will wait in the order hall. The second those fireworks go off, I go there. Once I land, I use the bucket of water to create a waterfall. Ah My bucket, your secret weapon! Then the three of us will head into the tower and use hashtag potato451 to strip the admin of his powers before he even knows what to do. See? Piece of cake. That uh, might just be the best crazy I've heard in a while. Jesse, this could work. Explosions, excitement, explosions. I love it. This all starts with getting Stella to help us, though. Yeah, she's pretty tight with that admin guy. Are you sure about that? She did seem kinda awful. You're right, Stella cannot be trusted. After what happened in the Sunshine Institute... Guys, I think she's really on the admin side. <laughs> you can say that again. Well... Stella does know where the fireworks guild uniforms are. I could follow her to them and then we wouldn't have to talk. Great! Can I say how much I don't like this plan? You can, because you're staying here. Only Jesse stands a chance on the streets because Jesse is the admin. Jesse, your clothes, you gotta change. Stella is the worst, so be careful, all right? I think Jesse should be more worried about the admin showing up during this plan. Good luck, friend. One serving of admin coming up. I can do this. Stella. <gasps> there. Oh, and there? What the?
Jesse, dude! Just unveiled the new statue you built, <laughs> yeah. It's got, um, character? Yeah, I kinda liked the old one, but... Whoa! Hey, I mean, you know what? This one is totally rad. I cannot keep my eyes off it. <laughs> Sha! It is pretty great, isn't it? I wouldn't change a thing. Sha! Sha! Sure! Go with your gut! Totally! <laughs> just came by to once again admire the update I did to my paltry first attempt at a statue. I really feel it's some of my best work. Yup, yeah, yup, yeah, coolio. Just keeping it the way it is forever. <laughs> yeah. Keep it, uh, hanging, Nelly dude. Catch you on the flip side. <laughs> Fireworks and banners. Uh, it's not my fault. I I'm understaffed. Then hire more people. Force them, conscript them, I don't care. Jesse Khan will be the greatest thing this town has ever seen, or I will personally ensure you pay the price. Where the heck am I supposed to get more people? Bingo, that's our ticket in. It's now or never. Perfect. Now we can... Oh, Gravel, where are those extra Jesse banners? Oh! Stella! Jesse! Back so soon! <laughs> ha Since when do you... Hmm, you're not the admin, are you? Hmm? Come on, of course I'm the admin. I'm absolutely, completely, totally the admin. Jesse! I knew it! Keep your voice down, all right? Huh! <laughs> that is bold, I'll give you that. Coming back when the admin can just blab you into oblivion? Okay, give me one reason I shouldn't just hand you over to him right now. After everything you've done to me, or not done for me. You don't deserve an ounce of help. He won't believe you. Ivor convinced the admin the real Jesse was already taken care of. Bringing another Jesse would waste his time and make him mad, and you wouldn't want that. Ugh, he can be insufferable like that. Fine. 
It's not like your pathetic plan will work anyway. I'll destroy you the moment you try. Nice seeing you too, Stella. Circulation. Yeah, this is chafing me in all the wrong places. Ugh. Remind me to never ask what the right places are. Hey, before we go back there, if things get hot, I want you to know that I've got your back. Just like in prison, I can and will fight anyone who tries to mess with you. Like they taught me in the big house. No mercy. No prisoners. Okay, well, let's not go, like, looking for fights, though, okay? Kind of been freaking me out since we got out of prison. Sorry, sorry, I'll try and tone it down. Keep the ocelot in the cage, you know? And as Jesse, you're Jesse, I'm glad we as a town... Let's go to work. Of course, it was mandatory, but I sensed that you wanted to come anyway. So thank you for understanding just how important I am to you. No one permitted back here except... Fireworks Union, huh? Jeez, well, get back there then. Thank you. Now we can get to our jobs that we're totally qualified to do. Well, good luck with your fireworking. Firework working? Uh, unimportant. I'll grab a bucket from the house. Be right back! What the? There's no fireworks. Just stuff. Come on. Who plans a convention with no fireworks? Now's not the time to complain. I wasn't complaining. I was stating a fact in a frustrated tone. Either way, we still don't have any fireworks. I guess we'll just need to make some. There has to be enough supplies to craft some paper around here. Then, all we need is gunpowder. And a fireworks star. Oh, that would really add some flash. We'll keep a lookout on the exits and stage. Okay, at least it looks like the fireworks union guys already dropped off the fireworks stars. Which one should I take? I think this one does like an awesome magenta burst. Very rad. Huh, a copy of Lucas's book. Whoever owns this chest must be a fan.
Ooh, sugar cane. This isn't stupid. Gunpowder, perfect! Okay, let's get crafting. There's a firework. Nice. Now just need to- Hey, Glenn, I- Wait a minute. You ain't Glenn. And you ain't- <laughs> God, sorry. I know you wanted me to tone it down, but I didn't know what else to do. I kind of panicked. I just wanted you to be safe. God, just- Maybe try not to hit them so hard next time, okay? Ugh, that was brutal. Noted. I sense the work of prison radar. Maybe? Did you get the bucket? Oh, I got the bucket. Uh, what should I do about this guy? Just get him out of the way, okay? Like, tuck him away somewhere. Roger. Good luck, boss. Thanks, Radar. All strapped in, fireworks ready. Oh, no! Uh, Jesse! Uh, hey, Jesse! Yeah! Jesse, we want to talk to you more about how great it is being your friend. Just need to... Oh, perfect. Just what I needed. Ah! Too slow, dummy! Come at me, ugly. Uh-oh. Whew, that was close. Okay, time to get the others. Boy, was I glad to see that waterfall. Yeah, we were getting kind of nervous down there. Sorry, the welcoming committee was a little strict. Come on, let's get inside.
Okay, I'm not the only one that finds all this silence freaky, right? This place is dead. Definitely strange. Though I imagine you might be relieved to have a little quiet right now, huh? I was almost expecting, I don't know, another huge boss battle or... Shh. Okay, okay, sorry, you're right. I'm, uh, being a nervous talker. You know, when you do, yeah. Guys, what's going on? Stand down, Ocelots! Lucas! Looks like the tables have finally turned, huh, Jesse? We can't let you keep doing what you're doing. That... that's enough. Oops! S sorry. Guys, Lucas, I think you're confused. It's me! Oh, we're not confused. We know exactly who you are. Now, hang on, everyone. No. It's our turn to talk. Not yours. Not anymore. I reformed the Ocelots because I wanted to remind everyone of how things were before. And most of all, I wanted to remind you. No, Because but... the Jesse I know wouldn't be running around on some power trip locking people up. Lucas. So yeah, I set your prisoners free. What are you going to do about it? Yeah. Telling us our builds were ugly. Lucas, would you please stop talking for two seconds and just let me explain? Huh. And there is the new Jesse I've gotten to know lately. Everything you think I've told you since I came back from the Ice Palace was a lie. The admin locked me in a prison underground, took my identity, came back here, and pretended to be me. That is... No. How do we know this isn't a trick? No trick, friend. And it's not the first time. My friend Voss, the admin did the same thing with him. Yeah, we saw the whole thing. Is this really true? All those horrible things you did that... Oh, come on, Lucas. You know that the overbearing authoritarian thing isn't me. I'm way more laid back than that. That... is true. Well, now that we have that sorted out... What in the world are we gonna do next? Wait. Why are you even in here? We're trying to get to something called the terminal. We have a word of passage. <coughs> Potato. That we can apparently use to take away the admin's powers for good. Yeah, a lot of that was way over my head, especially the potato, but I'm in. You just lead the way, and the new ocelots will have your back. <laughs> well, would you look at this? Romeo's quite the Jesse memorabilia collector. I know we don't have much time, but it might be smart to suit up properly. Agreed. Tim might not have been a real warrior, but his armor's gonna help deliver a very real butt kicking. Now you look like you're ready for a showdown. Agreed. Oh, thanks, guys. Time to end this. Ocelots! Oh! Okay, if I were a terminal, what would I look like? Why, hello there. Wasn't expecting you. Oh, crud. What's the move here, Jesse? Maybe you're confused, but this is my office. 
Ocelots, charge! Excuse me? Nope, 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 nope. Big nope. Wasn't smart. Ah, no. ah. What? Where are they? Where'd they go? Oh, I am so upset that you're back. That wannabe ninja, Ivor, told me you were dead. Hearing that made me feel great. It's called a hustle, admin, and you fell for it hook, line, and sinker. What better way to sneak back into Beacon Town right under your, uh, my nose? Oh, you smug, arrogant, insignificant! What, pray tell, are you hoping to accomplish by challenging me? I don't know if you've noticed, but I'm just a touch more powerful than you. I know. That's why I'm not here to fight you. I want to talk this over. Jesse, uh, Jesse. Ugh, talking it out? What's the point in that? That's what losers do. Real people, awesome people, settle their differences with... with... No, you're not doing any talking right now. Right now, you're just gonna shut up and listen. Nah, -uh, you don't tell me what to do. That's not how this works. <sighs> well, you know what? It's just as well you're back. Because being Jesse is the worst. Oh, yes, yes, I said it. I hate being you. Your, your people, your friends, they're so needy, so clingy. I have to listen to their stupid voices day after day after day, just asking for things. I, mean, I, I thought being Jesse meant that people would do what I wanted to do. No one ever asks what I want. Yeah, that's not how being a leader works. That's just selfish. <sighs> yes, well, it's terribly disappointing is what it is. It's just... But it was fun at first. I show them some super amazing display of my awesome powers. They'd laugh. I'd laugh. But soon they were just asking me to do that all the time. <laughs> you, know, you know what's funny? You've made me see something. I mean, it's starting to feel like maybe I should just leave being Jesse to you. You know? <laughs> the, the, the genuine article. What's your angle here? This is a trick, right? Nope. No tricks, no angles, no games. Just good old Romeo telling it like it is. <sighs> well, this has all been terribly enlightening, and I, I think we've all learned some great lessons here that I will totally remember for next time. Next time? Yeah! The next world I build after I bedrock over yours. Oh, I'm going to get it totally right with that one. No! A whole new set of people. A whole new world. Oh, I'll be a great leader. A great friend next time around. Well, I should thank you for all these... These wonderful little lessons you've helped me to learn. Oh, maybe... Maybe I'll have more fjords in the next one. There's no way I'm letting you do this! Oh! Well, you don't really have much of a choice, do you? <laughs> Sorry, but it's time to start fresh. Make a new world. Oh well, <laughs> toodles! Oh, this doesn't seem good. Oh, you guys are okay. Yeah, he just blipped us back to the hallways again. Such a... Ooh, such a jerk.
How are we gonna stop this? We need to take his powers away. Find the terminal space. The roof. That's where the admin keeps his portal to the terminal thing. Go! Come on! We need to get to that portal before the bedrock closes up. Here. Yeah, but we don't know where here is. Is that the clock from the admin's tower? Yeah, <clears throat> I mean, uh, I, uh, Found the Colossus. The trip down memory lane is nice and all, but how do we find the primary terminal thingy? There is so much stuff in here. Hashtag potato four five one. It was uh, it was a good thought, but uh... password protocol initiated. It's him. Oh. It's just more of his stupid recordings. You've selected password protocol. Oh, it's like a automatic assistant or something. Welcome to Terminal Space. Well, shall we? So, wait. He has this whole assistant thing set up, but only he ever comes here? The automated personal assistant system was developed to aid the mighty admin in menial tasks and help his friends navigate the terminal space. Man, so when he first made all this, he was still hoping his friends would come here too. Kinda makes me feel bad for him, actually. Is that? Please enter your password to begin a new program. I... That was all over my head. Password, password, password. That must be the word of passage. Hashtag potato 451. It's... empty? Waiting for material request. I mean, it must be talking about the potato, right? Sounds right to me. Uh, potato? Please? Acquiring... Potatoes! Items dispensed. Thank you! Wait, two potatoes? Yeah, a normal one and a... Poisoned one. Which one do we use? I mean, the word of passage didn't say anything about poison, but it did have that weird hashtag thingy. That might mean something? Oh, I don't think that symbol ever actually means anything. Hmm. Had to figure out which one is correct. And there we go. 
go. I still need to enter the rest of the word of passage. Won't know if this is right or not till I do. Okay, okay, that sounds like progress, right? Was that a good thud or a bad thud? It's... Fred? Zara, hi. If you're seeing this recording, well, I guess the worst has happened. And you just put the word of passage into the primary terminal. I wish the terminal could just take away Romeo's admin powers. It'd be easier that way. But making this gauntlet was the best I could do. Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Put your hand into the pedestal to receive the gauntlet. It's got the power to make Romeo normal again. It might take a few hits to remove his powers entirely, but it'll get the job done. Do you understand? Then good luck, Zara. You're... Well, I think you might need it. Well, here goes nothing. What do you think you're doing? What's happening? We're here to stop you, Romeo, once and for all. I told you, your world's done. No, take that! <laughs> Jesse, hurry! what you're playing at, but it ends now! I said it ends now! What? What? I'm... Oh, you, you think you're very clever, don't you? Well, how about we finish this with a little change of scenery? The... the Sea Temple? Kalukale, Jesse. Remember when we first met? Oh, that was back when I thought we could still be friends. Huh. This is impossible! No 
one gets to make me... as I am. are over, admin. Give it up. Oh, I am going to... Uh, you don't! Don't touch me! Touch me! Touch me! Well, ahoy there, Jesse! <laughs> Care for a dance with the Velvet Tornado? Oh, you wouldn't attack old Jack, right? Not after everything we've been through together. There's just one problem. You're not Jack! Maybe not, but it's certainly a nice form to use when I destroy you! Romeo, it's time you paid for everything you've done. Don't you judge me! You don't get to judge me! Give me back! Oh. That's, the That's the cause of all this! Uh, let's go!
floor anymore! I'm through, admin. It's over. You can say that again. How's that level playing field feel, huh, jerk? Get away from me! You have to go and make everything so difficult. Everyone likes you, and you're nothing. Hey, we're not the ones trying to rule the world. What? No, no, I'm not. I just, I just wanted people to. Place is held together by my powers. No more powers. No more terminal zone. <laughs> We're doomed. We're gonna get buried if we don't get out of here pronto. What about him? What about him? He's not our problem anymore. But look at him. He'll never make it out of here on his own. No, she's right. Just, just leave me. My powers are the cause of all this in the first place. I deserve to stay here and pay for the mess I made. I can't believe that, that this is what it took for me to realize. Oh, I've been just so stupid, so blind. You should never have had that kind of power in the first place. Look at where it got you. Yeah. Yeah, and it'll all be over soon. Jesse, now's the time. We gotta go. Go on, leave me. I deserve to stay in this oblivion. Goodbye, Romeo.
escaping us? I think so. I told you! I told you I'd pay for what I did! <laughs> yeah, come on! That's a good colossus! Run for it, now! Yeah, and not a minute too soon. Save the world again, huh? Doesn't that ever get old? Why, yes, thank you for noticing. Thought we'd fit in a light bit of world saving before afternoon pie time. Happy to see you all in one piece, too. And what about the admin? Did, uh... Did he not make it? Crazy as it seems, at the end, the admin sacrificed himself. Yeah. Romeo ended up saving all of us. Seriously? That... Doesn't sound like the admin to me. It was actually pretty noble. Yeah, I don't know how we would have gotten out without him, actually. Yeah, and I'm happy to be alive, but it's still not enough to make up for all the bad he did. No. I guess it's not. Well, I'm just glad that all of you are okay. And I guess. I guess this is all over? Yeah. Yeah, I guess it is. What do you guys say we head home? I say, way ahead of you, friend. <laughs> Me too. Jesse! I am approaching you from this direction, and am coming to speak with you. No ninja trickery, hijinks, or tomfoolery here. Both my actions and my intentions are crystal clear. Yeah, I mean, I mean, you're right there, I can see you. I know, I know, but I'm trying not to sneak up on people anymore. So, no more ninja Ivor, then? Ha! <laughs> No, no. I decided it was time to stop running around in my pajamas and start trying to fix a few messes. Starting with trying to heal the rift between my old friends. Ellie will be easy. Just need to stop by Redstonia. You can apologize, but they might not forgive you. I know, and they don't have to. Admitting my wrongs would be its own reward. Well, I suppose it's time for me to go. This has been fun, though, hasn't it? Jesse! Jesse, hey! What's up, Radar? I was just saying goodbye to... Guess ninja habits die hard. I, uh, hope you don't mind, but uh, I've kind of been taking charge of the beautification project. I thought, why not at least make it look intentional? 
really stepping it up to leader mode, if I do say so myself. And it's been stressful, but also fun. Well, you had a pretty great role model, if I do say so myself. Yeah, Lucas is an amazing guy. Joke. Whoa! Hey, Luna. No, Luna, bad. That is the real Jesse. We don't like the real Jesse, remember? Let's just ignore these losers and be on our way, hmm? You understand. So glad to see our rivalry is still very much alive. Oh, this has gone way beyond a simple rivalry at this point. We are, without a doubt, full-blown enemies. Luna, now! Oh, Luna! <laughs> <laughs> you! Ugh, you are all the worst. None of you are ever going to be welcome in the new Champion City. Mark my words! Bye-bye for now, Stella. Man, Stella is the absolute worst. Hey, look who's sticking around. Well, after all that time we spent traveling together through the underneath, you're not so bad. Now, you got everything you need, all packed and double-checked? Yes, Jack. This is very, I don't know, bittersweet for me, you know. Goodbyes are no good. <sighs> that we have, Nermi. So I won't say it this time. <laughs> Not to people that I will see again. <laughs> you got it. Come on, walk me to the gate. So you're leaving, apparently? For how long? Honestly? Probably a while, but it's good this time. I'm doing it for me. I'm trying to, like, grow or whatever. Anyway, I'm about to say goodbye to everyone, and I... Ah! I'm here. I promised myself I wouldn't cry. Promise oh, broken. Oh, jeez. It'll be okay. So Petra's heading off into the great unknown, huh? Huh. <laughs> I figured. Definitely sounds exciting. Life on the open road is hard. Foraging for food, shivering in the cold night, constantly looking out for monsters. Yeah. I think I'm closing that chapter of my life for a while. It's time to settle down. Here. Hey, you guys are missing out on prime group hug action. You don't think this is like the last time we'll all be together, do you? No. Well, maybe. I don't know. I mean, if Petra's leaving. No. Well, I mean, until the world needs saving again, that always seems to act as a nice reunion. Hopefully, hopefully not too soon, though. Okay. Well, I'm gonna get out of here before I... <laughs> too late. Bye, guys. Be safe out there, okay? The safest. And when you finish that book of yours, I better have a great part in it. Uh-huh. <laughs> I know back in Admin's cabin, you said you'd always be waiting in Beacon Town. But the invite's still open if you want it. No pressure. Wait, you're leaving? Beacon Town's pretty cool. I don't want to miss seeing it get even cooler. Oh, I was hoping that's what you would say!
See ya, Petra. I, for one, am incredibly excited. And I can keep being your intern. Oh, come on. Intern? He hasn't earned a promotion yet? Executive intern. Intern in chief. Ooh, director of internal affairs. Oh, uh, yeah, definitely getting a promotion. I hereby promote you from intern to senior intern. Uh, isn't he the only? I love it. I won't let you down, Jesse. <laughs> I know you won't. Come on, you guys. Let's head back to the hall. Guys! Guys! Jesse decided to stay! I'm glad to hear it. I know! Me too! Just think about all the amazing things we'll be able to do. The new buildings, the new inventions, Yo, the new structures. Radar. I've got some... Anyway, point is, we've got a lot of work to do, and I can't wait to start. <laughs> Me neither, pal. <laughs>